Hi, Tanya, blooming in place. I am making raspberry preserves today. I've already made the jam. I will make jelly, but right now I am making raspberry preserves. Most people preserve berries with a simple syrup, which is, um, depending on whether you want it light, medium, or a heavy syrup, it's usually a heavy syrup is equal parts water to sugar. I don't like to do that because that is purely empty calories. So the way I make my strawberry preserves and simple syrup is like this. I'm going to recommend that you yourself follow the FDA's guidelines and regulations as to how to prepare your jars and your things for preserving. For myself, I put them in my canner and I bring it to a full rolling boil and I boil all my jars for five minutes with vinegar added to the water. About a quarter cup to this pot. Here I am, all prepped. I have my audio book. I have my audio book for listening to. Once the raspberries have cooked down without ever bringing to a boil, I run them through a jelly bag. You can use cheese cloth, you can use any type of a cloth you wish, and I strain the juice. Everything has been sterilized prior to use, but I have five cups of raspberry juice and I have five cups of juice and in order to make the syrup for preserving the berries I need three and a half cups of sugar. I'm using my mason jar as a measuring cup because the berry juice is in my other measuring cup and mason jars are always convenient for that and I'm falling right at about three and a half. So this goes into the oven at 350 degrees and I keep it in my mason jar because it is heat resistant. When I make jams, I buy the cut crystal diamond cut glass jars for the jams because the jams with the seeds in it, although it's pretty, it's clear and hot, huh? nothing broke. It's not clear, but it adds and it makes the light sparkle off your pretty jam. So th that's what I use when I'm doing jam. But when I'm doing preserves, like raspberry or strawberry preserves, the berries are so beautiful, or at least they should be, that they should stand alone. So I like to use plain, ordinary, jars when I'm doing preserves. That's just a personal preference. Any type of heat tempered glass will work. Okay, so while I have got the berry juice going on the stove, the sugar is in the mason jar in the oven, the jars for storing the preserves are done boiling and I've got them on the mat and now I will fill them with berries. One got loose, have to eat it. So I just used my clean hands because they're the best tools you have. And I filled this jar right to the neck with berries. We want enough head space, a half inch head space, but that is one cup of berries. And when the simple syrup is done, I will tap it off. And now I'm going to do the rest of my juice. I have five cups of raspberry juice on a low heat, and I will bring it up to a very slow simmer. Now, when the sugar is good and hot, and you add it to the juice, it will sometimes make the juice almost boil. Stir the sugar in right away. Want to 
wash down the sides, make sure any sugar that got in there. And see that sugar is virtually dissolved already. It's almost gone. I'm going to let it simmer, not boil. If the bubbles come up, I want to be able to stir them down. That's where I want to keep the temperature. Look how dark red that is. It is just beautiful. It's almost purple, but it does not show up on camera that way. Right? Now over here to my berries. And I fill it to a half inch of head space. I have my handy dandy chopstick to make sure that none of the berries, there's no air bubbles and that none of the berries are forced above the liquid. I give it a little shake and jiggle. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And little taps. But see, raspberries have those little pockets, right? They're little pillow pockets. And we want to make sure that those are not holding air so, I, you have to be so gentle. So, I take my time. It took me a long time to pick these berries. And it took me a long time to wash them. My kitchen is hot, sweltering hot, so that I can process them. I don't want a simple mistake or shortcut See those air bubbles that have come up? That's what we want out of there. Don't want a simple mistake. I'm going to look down here. Oops. Don't want a simple mistake or shortcut to ruin all the work. Now when I take this out, oops, I still need a half inch of syrup. So I'm going to come back another scoop that blocked the camera and added a half inch oh and by the way the raspberry juice stains whatever it gets on and there we are and there's our jar of preserves And we will move on to the next one. But again, I'm just going to give it a little shake. Want to get all that air out. See those little bubbles coming up? We want to get all that air out. And I may have to add a little more of the liquid. And on to the next. Now that the jars are full, I've dipped, I've dipped a paper towel in boiling water. And see, if anything is on your paper towel, as you can see the syrup is on this, that would have ruined the seal. Oh, and I have vinegar in my boiling water too. And I do not stop cleaning with a new spot on the towel until a complete go around gives me a clean see I've got a clean clean spot right here right I'm gonna run that around the glass it's clean at the halfway I'm running it all the way around and it's clean so then we move on to the next one with a fresh spot. Never cross-contaminate from one jar to another. And here we go. And we do each one. And 
before anyone comments, but you're more than welcome to. I don't mind any comments. I do have my lids soaking in boiling water. And the reason I have them soaking in boiling water is because I don't know how old they are. They're new lids, they've never been used, but, ooh, look at the steam coming on my camera. I better move. So, but I don't know how old they are, and I don't know if they're the kind you're supposed to boil or the kind you're not, so I'm boiling. When we put the lids on, we're only hand tightening because we don't want to torque that down. As the juice and the berries heat up, pressure will increase, air will escape. That's what will create the vacuum. If your lid is too tight, the air cannot escape. Now that the berries are done, we use our grabber. and we put these down in the canner and we process according to FDA instructions and I will let you get those yourself from their website. I do not want to be held responsible for me. I will be processing these for 10 minutes. The timer just went off. They processed for 10 minutes. Time to take them out. They are still hot and the berries are still floating, but they are out. And now I wait for the beautiful sound of the jar sealing. And as you can see, when you boil, the hard water leaves a little white film even though I have some vinegar in there it'll wipe right off because I add vinegar to my water in my canner and I'll wipe it down with vinegar.